In 1947, the development of the transistor marked the beginning of a digital revolution. This is the first transistor. It's about the size of a golf ball, and the idea is that the flow of electrons from one terminal to another through some semiconductor can be switched on and off by a third terminal in the base. They've gotten smaller, and today we fit about a billion of them inside your smartphone. My research looks ahead to the extreme limit of miniaturization at the scale of individual atoms. This here, uh, the flow through this atomic scale transistor depends on the configuration of one single electron orbiting one single atom that we've put there to contain it. In particular, every electron has a quantum mechanical property called spin. You can think of it like an arrow that points up or down or somewhere in between. I'm working towards gaining full control over this spin to orient it in any direction that I choose, which would make this atomic scale transistor the fundamental building block for a powerful new type of quantum computer. <laughs> 